What's the best way to remove the excess water from this towel? There's no great secret. You just wring it out. I grab the ends and twist. That causes torsion and the fibers pull together and the water gets wrung out. 3,000 years ago, in the time of the pharaohs, some clever Egyptians came up with an idea that would help them squeeze the juice out of olives and grapes. Hi, I'm Bill Gerstel. In this episode of Remaking History, I'm going to show you how to make this clever Egyptian invention. It's called the bag press. Besides being terrific civil engineers, as evidenced by those gigantic pyramids, the Egyptians were adept at mechanical engineering as well. They developed technologies for water distribution, agriculture, and warfare. But they also figured out ways to process and keep food. Now extracting juice from fruit was particularly important. At first, the Egyptians stomped on grapes and olives and oranges with their feet to extract juice. But under the guidance of a wise official named Tahotep, they discovered that more pressure could be exerted by placing the fruit in a cloth bag and then wringing it with the aid of levers. This is a hieroglyphic found near the tomb of Ptahhotep, near the Nile River in Egypt. It shows workmen placing grapes inside a linen bag and then twisting the ends with poles, while the fellow in the middle there is keeping the ends apart. These lines represent the juice coming out. Now these Egyptians are showing off perhaps the first food processing machine ever invented. It's called the bag press. Well, this is the bag press itself. It's made from some two by six pieces, some plywood cut to size, some pipe fittings, some fasteners to hold the pipe fittings, and this. It's a piece of linen sewn into a bag shape. I built the frame out of cedar because that's the wood the Egyptians would have used. The bag, as I said, is made of linen. Linen is strong, yet it's porous, so it's perfect for letting the juice run through. Now, linen is the material that the Egyptians wrapped their mummies in. The other materials, like the fittings and the fasteners, they're modern. I have filled the bag, which I just washed, with oranges, and now I'm placing a glass pan under the bag to catch the juice. Now the Egyptian insight here is that wringing the bag expresses the juice but leaves the pulp inside. Well, my bag press works pretty well. Those ancient Egyptians were a pretty clever group of people. For Make Magazine and Remaking History, I'm Bill Gerstel.